Uh, they have different tails. Those get massive. Super cheap for the bag. It was literally like $4.50. You can already tell that you'll be able to see the fish a lot better with the... We're actually going to repurpose this tank again. Got all three catfish in there. That dude is... We got our DIY cave that you saw us make before. Really cool, simple. What's up, Billings fam? Welcome back. Today, we are in front of our 40 gallon tank right now. And I, I hope some of you remember this. If you've been here since the beginning, comment down below if you remember this tank. This is the tank that pretty much got us started into everything. But when we did get started, it looked very different. So there are a whole new bunch of guys in here. We got some catfish in there. We got a, our Buenos Aires rescue. We got a sunfish in here somewhere. We got a huge goby in here that is a rescue. So really cool tank. This is one of my favorite tanks at nighttime. It's very active at night now. Before we get any further in this, make sure go ahead and subscribe, hit that bell, stay tuned. Really cool things coming up. And one of them is going to involve this tank. We are gonna be taking these guys and we're gonna be building a whole new stock tank sort of pond basically so we have our stock tank downstairs which you guys have seen which have the two little baby oscars in there we're going to be moving them and getting these guys in there so these guys are starting to grow too big a lot of them so they need more room than this so we're going to put them in there we're going to make it look really cool we're going to bring a lot of the pieces in that they have in here right now so we'll keep that but we're going to make it look really really cool we're going to probably add some white rocks on the bottom to let you be able to see in there a little bit better so without further ado let's Let's get going on today's adventure. So really cool, as I was talking about upstairs, this is our nice little koi and goldfish pond. If you were here since the beginning, you would know that these were the guys that were in that 40 gallon upstairs. So we actually rescued them from Walmart. Really cool video. If you never got to check it out, make sure you go check that out now. Uh, but that's kind of what kickstarted our channel. And the other really nice thing about it is what we did afterwards. So actually Walmart corporate reached out to us once they saw our video and saw some of the complaints trending. And we were able to uh, help in getting Walmart shut down from selling live fish. So uh, you will probably notice that most Walmarts do not sell fish anymore, which is awesome because what used to happen to these poor fish were just, it was just awful. When we went in there, there were just, it was probably the most disgusting tanks I've ever seen, dead fish everywhere. So getting a chance to actually rescue them and give them a better life like they have now, really cool. And then on top of that, being able to help facilitate the, the shutting down of Walmart selling fish, it was just kind of like icing on the cake. So, so really cool. But that is this pond. Um, we are actually going to be talking about this guy right here. So this is our stock tank right now. And as you know, if you saw the last video, there are two little babies in here right now, baby tiger Oscars. They're not really babies anymore. I would say they're juveniles now and they are big enough. So we are going to be taking them out of here and they are going to be going into our 55 gallon over there. And then we get to use this huge tank, which then I can put a little bit more water in here. And we're going to bring all the guys from upstairs in the 40 gallon into here, give them a much better life. We're going to make this look a little bit cooler too. We're going to put their hideouts in here. We're going to cover the bottom with some white rocks so that hopefully you can see everything a little bit better. So we got both of these little guys in here. I already did water tests and everything. All the parameters are, are almost identical. So shouldn't take too long. Probably just going to put one more in there. Give them just a couple minutes. I'm excited to see them in here. The coolest part about this guys is we'll actually get to see their colors like at all times now. Um, it's been really hard to see their colors in that, obviously, but you can definitely see some of the orange starting to come through. It's a little sad. I wanted them to be that cool blue color for good, but obviously that wasn't gonna happen. Still exciting, still beautiful fish. Now, guys, remember, these guys are gonna grow fast and large, so they're not going to stay in here long, just until they get, you know, a couple inches more, and then we're gonna, gonna have to figure out something for them. Look at them. Oh, there's still some blue on them. Very cool. See him go in. There, oh wow, there are still some blues in there. Very cool, guys. Look at them. Oh, I love that we can see their colors now. All right, guys, so he is moving around, and for any of you that don't know this, Tiger Oscars, when they get stressed, they actually do something crazy. They actually lay on their side. It's almost like them kind of chilling out when they're all stressed, so he was doing that. Anyone out there have Tiger Oscars, large, small? Anyone breed them? If you do, comment down below. Give me some of your ideas and some of the stuff that you've been through. All right, so picked up a couple of bags at Home Depot. Uh, it's our favorite place to get these rocks. Super cheap for the bag. It was literally like $4.50 and it's gonna work great. But most important thing, make sure you wash these guys off. Um, I, I kind of do it the, uh, the easy way. I just dump them out 
and spray them until it's clear. Super dusty. Looks like milk. That's <laughs> so gross. Imagine you just put that right in the aquarium. No. All right, guys, so what we're doing, we got the rocks rinsed off as best we can. We are putting them in. And as you can see, even though we've rinsed them that well, it is still letting up some dust here. Um, but you can see though, with the rocks in there and the light, it's really playing off it. We're gonna be able to see everybody in here a lot better. So what we're gonna do, get these all dumped in there, put the filters back in. This is gonna run for 24 hours. And then we're gonna do a full, not a full water change, excuse me. We're gonna do a water change, give it another 24 hours and then we will start to get the fish in their new home. All right guys, the rocks are in and it is super cloudy and murky, but I am very, very excited. You can already tell that you'll be able to see the fish a lot better with the white bottom. Now, I am very, very excited guys and I wanted to give you a quick little update while we're down here. Look at the tank. First of all, we blacked out the back. Looks amazing. I love the look of this tank now. And look at the Oscars. They are doing awesome, guys. They are both doing great. They love this tank. They love their new friends. They've been good with everybody so far. Everything's going great. All right, guys, so what we're doing here is I am getting all the decorations and the handmade cave out of here downstairs so we can get it in the stock tank and to make it a little bit easier to catch everybody in here. So we're gonna get these all up. We'll get downstairs. And there it is, all the fish in there awaiting their new home. Kind of a sad day, Billings fan, but don't worry, make sure you stay tuned. We're actually gonna repurpose this tank again for about the third time. Really excited, all you turtle lovers, turtle lovers out there, stay tuned for that. So we are down here, guys. We got everything set up in there. We got the pot, we got the plants, we got our DIY cave that you saw us make before. Really cool, simple, couple of bricks and uh, tiles that we laid over it, but the, the fish seem to love it. We got all our fish in here. I am acclimating them right now. Thankfully, the temperatures are really close, so this shouldn't take too long. I know it's impossible to see them in this black bucket, but they're in there, so we'll get them in. Um, one other really cool thing, guys, you will eventually see, so we got all the duckweed and sylvania in here, and you know, at times it makes it tricky to see. We're gonna set up a couple of these DIY rings here so you can have some viewing spots. Make sure you stay tuned for that. It's a little DIY. We're gonna start doing a couple of DIY videos, probably throw a couple of them in the same video. Stay tuned for that, though. Start with Gobi, Moby the Gobi. Hey, go bud. Look at that. Look at all the room you got. It's our Jade Gobi rescue guys, and I know he went right where all the duckweed is, so it's a little tricky to see. But he is in there. He will love all this space. Really, really cool. I can't, I can't get him. There we go. Wide mouth pleco. Going in, this is a really cool looking guy. This is the guy I told you for a while I never even saw until he started not being shy anymore. Now he comes out all the time and he is really cool. We should name him. Billings fam, think of a name for him. Zoom in on him again. His color is really cool. Guys, I don't know exactly what kind he is. If you do, let me know. All I know is that he's a wide mouth pleco. Um, really cool, he's not gonna get much bigger than that. Think of a name for him. All right, let's get some of these catfish in here. So these are bullhead catfish. We got three of them. We rescued them from the polluted pond that we go to. These guys are gonna get very large and will need uh, to be in a pond of some sort eventually. But for right now, this is gonna do amazing. He went back behind the pot. These guys will hide for a little while and then once they get comfortable again, they will basically run this tank. So these guys were pretty much in charge of the tank upstairs. They're gonna do the same thing here. Um, really cool looking fish. They are super, super feisty, so you're not gonna see it right now, but really cool looking fish. Um, I love these catfish. All, all, I'm gonna be honest, I like all catfish. Catfish are really cool to me, so. Oh yeah, hey, look it. You wanna see some big guys? Now those are channel catfish, sort of related. Uh, they have different tails, and again, those get obviously massive. The, bullhead, the bullheads will not get to that size. They will usually get about 13 inches max. Oh, he was easy. Here is our sunfish. I really like this guy. He used to be in our 55, then he got way too big. So now he's in here. And really cool, quick story guys, as I try and catch him in here, our Buenos Aires was a rescue as well. Um, yep, so here's our Buenos Aires. 
Uh, so this guy, we rescued a couple of them from a, from a woman. And uh, unfortunately, this one bullied the other two and the other two did not make it. Um, but he has now become pretty good friends with the sunfish. They kind of look similar, which is really cool. To a point, they're about the same size, same shape. So they, uh, they have actually been pretty good friends now and they kind of go around together. We've got the last catfish here, if I can get him. This guy's big. All right, so we've got all three catfish in there. That dude is huge. He is already growing bigger than the other ones. Um, they love to hide for a while during the day, so they'll use, they'll make use of that cave, make use of the pot, um, and they'll probably hide behind the filters for a while. But once they do come out at night, it is really cool, and they eat like crazy. So this guy is really cool. Um, probably about four years old, she said right now. Uh, this guy definitely needs a name as well. Oh, I caught the thermometer too. All right, let's get him in there. He is growing big. Uh, if you want to see, come on, let go. Hold on guys. Hold on. Let's see if I can help him out here. Um, so if you want a reference of how big he could get, so these are two of our other rescues that are huge common fleckos. So he can definitely get to that size, which is really cool. So that is Steve and Joe. Um, great, great pleco names. We'll definitely need a name for this guy. I guess our plecos are just gonna have common human names. So if anyone has some ideas for him, let me know, comment down below. Awesome guys, well that's pretty much it. So we got our stock tank all set with all of our guys from the 40 gallon. We're gonna take that 40 gallon, we're gonna repurpose that like I told you. Um, our two Tiger Oscar juveniles that were in here are in the 55 over there doing great. Hey, real quick guys about the 55, the sword tail female is already pregnant. Super exciting, she's only been in there a little while, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Um, guys, if you liked this video and you liked the stock tank idea that we have here, make sure you throw us a like on that and share the video around. Um, everybody's gonna do awesome in here. Don't forget guys, we still are going to, as we do with most of our tanks in here, we're gonna update this. So we're gonna get something built in here so there's a better viewing window so the Sylvania and duckweed isn't there. And we gotta throw some better uh, filtration in here as well. So we're probably gonna grab a canister filter, set that all up, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Now, let us get to this episode's Good Vibe shout out. Really cool guys, we just posted the other video the other day of the wet pets, um, when we went to the wet pets in Vernon and picked up our fish. Well, the employee that helped me out there reached out to us on here, which is really cool. Noah Almeida. Thanks, Noah. What's going on, man? I'm the employee at Wet Pets that helped you grab those fish in this video. I've been watching your videos ever since. Keep up the good work, man. Noah, appreciate the love, man. We will definitely be back in there. Great experience. Guys, if you're in the Vernon, Connecticut area, make sure you check them out. It's an awesome, awesome place, and uh, they do a great job. And as you can see, they definitely care about their customers. So had a lot of fun, guys. Got a lot done. Hope you enjoyed it. As always, peace. Subscribe below. Look at this guy. He won't forget. They always come over to us. We are walking to PetSmart. Very, very small fish. Excellent, guys. Fred is in great shape. Woo! Clovis, say hi. Is doing so much better underneath.